Hello, I'm going to try to explain how to do this analysis of our uh, experience in poetry. And uh, I struggled with what they were wanting to do. So it says experiencing poetry and there is pictures. So you're going to select a picture from the gallery and there's two exhibits that you can, uh, two different pages and there's all of these pictures that you can click on and when you click on the picture there is a poem that comes up and when that poem comes up you scroll down to the poem i couldn't find the poem earlier i was like what and i forgot that i had to scroll down and i chose the bean eaters they eat beans mostly this oh yellow pear dinner is a casual affair plain chipware on a plain and crack cracking wood tin flatware uh, two who are mostly good two who have lived their life but keep on putting on their clothes and putting things away and remembering remembering when twinkling and twinges as they lean over the beans in the rented back room that is full of beads and receipts and dolls and claws tobacco crumbs, vases, and fringes. Oh, that brings up so many images of my grandparents and my parents as they got older. Um, dinner was always just um, beans and cornbread or something just really simple. And then they would just, they didn't want to do a lot of uh, cooking and a lot of cleanup. And then they were had been good. They'd worked so hard all their life. My dad and mom both worked in factories, and they would get up and be out of the house by six, and they'd be exhausted when they come home in the evening. But they were always so neat and tidy and had a schedule, and Saturdays was about putting things away and doing their clothes. And, and Sundays were about remembering. And they would get together with my grandparents and they would sit there and talk about their grandparents and about old times and, and gatherings and everything. And they're remembering, remembering with twinges and twinklings as they lean over the beans in the rented back room. Rented back room makes me think of nursing homes that is full of beads. Sometimes we would just pack, we packed them up and we moved them in to our house. And so we had everything packed up into boxes and we would try to put their favorite things out in either the nursing home or in our homes as we pulled them into our homes. So this book, this story brought up a lot of feelings about my grandparents. So when we go back over to Schoolology, go back into Schoolology, and the next page, it tells us what to do with this. It says, read the poem, read it again, and think about what images it pulls up, and then select one of these three magazines and write about which one the poem should go in. So the one is Love Stinks, one is Family and Friends, and one is Good uh, Cloud Nine. So, and it looks about like true love. So, I chose the second one uh, about family and friends. And so, I'm going to put together a uh, poem, and I'm going to write, um, I'm going to put that poem in this book, and I'm going to write an analysis of that poem. So, in my analysis, I'm going to state one. In my first sentence, I'm going to state that the poem belongs in family and friends. So I would say something like, um, in family and friends, in family and friends, in my opinion, beans, uh, bean eaters should be included in family and friends. And then I would list my three reasons. The reasons that it should inc be included is it is about um, regular everyday people who, as in line one says, they only eat beans. This is what older people um seem to talk about is that um, having lived their life in line seven and that they spend their time remembering as in line nine. Notice I'm in my, in my writing, I'm, I'm 
deciding which line that I am talking about. And finally, it is sad that they have spent their whole life but only have a rented back room in line 11. Maybe it is a nursing home where their favorite things are packed in a box in the corner. So I have written just three or four or five sentences about and giving the citation of which line I'm talking about. And in class tomorrow, we'll talk more about how to organize and how we should write our paragraph. But I think that you have had some practice of this in the past, but we will be practicing this for the next week or two. So I will, uh, I hope that this helps you and we'll talk about it more tomorrow.